Hi, this is Ahmed Alugaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 233 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case of a microcatheter and crossable CTO. The patient was an elderly gentleman who had significant angina that was due to ischemia in the LAD territory. He had a previous vein graft with the LAD that was occluded and a medial AD CTO, normal ejection fraction. And this is the anatomy. We do have the LAD that is heavily calcified. The mid and distal LAD are filling through collaterals, mainly from the right coronary artery. This is a dual injection from the right and the left using eight French guides. So we decided first to try to cross using um, undergrade wiring or do dissection or re-entry in a short segment. We used the Gladius Mongo, but this kept on entering into a diagonal branch at the proximal cap. We did the side base, put a balloon in the side branch and tried to advance the guide wire along the course of the LAD, but we were unable to get a knuckle going down the LAD. We then decided we should try to go through the occluded bypass graft. So this is the origin of the occluded saphenous vein graft to the LAD. It was engaged with an AL1 guide. We used a Gladius Mongo guide wire and that uh, made rapid progress uh, distally into the distal vessel. And then uh, we wanted to go retrograde into the LAD, so we used an angulated microcatheter. This is a Supercross 120 that once inserted into the coronary artery becomes actually less angulated. So here it's less than 90, even though this is the Supercross 120. We tried to go retrograde. We tried different wires, including workhorse as well as Sion Black, but we were unable to advance them far back enough. We then switched for a dual lumen, which can also provide good support. And this is a recross dual lumen that has two over the wire lumens going all the way to the distal cap. We injected through the uh, more proximal lumen, and we clarified uh, where the LAD was coming, where was the anastomosis. And then we used a Pilot 200 guide wire, and we were able to advance it retrograde along the course of the LAD. We then uh, removed the recross and advanced a Corsair, which uh, very nicely took this very tight 180-degree bend going retrograde into the LAD. Now, crossing the CTO was extremely challenging because of the calcium, and there's also some tortuosity here. We did knuckle a Gladius Mongo guide wire, which seemed to advance along the course of the vessel. We then inserted an undergrade guide extension all the way to the proximal cap, and then did the reverse cart, and we were able to advance the retrograde wire into the undergrade guide extension. But the problem was that despite trapping this retrograde wire, we were unable to advance the retrograde Corsair Pro into the guide extension, likely because of the significant calcium in this area. So we tried different things. We had now a microcatheter and crossable CTO. We tried small balloons, 1.0 subfire, 1.25 millimeter threader. We even uh, inflated the balloon until they ruptured but it didn't work out. We did have good support. We did have a guide extension in the retrograde guide. But uh, um, even though we used a different microcaster, this is a fine cross. Once again, we just could not get through this area. After multiple attempts, we decided to modify the plaque on the undergrade side. So we now knew where the distal vessel was. So we advanced an undergrade wire and were able to get an undergrade knuckle going. And then we inflated uh, multiple multiple uh, um, balloons into the LAD to crush the cup. We used 2.0, 3.0 millimeter balloons. Unfortunately, we could still could not get the microcaster to go. And then after multiple attempts, we finally gave up on the position of the wire and we decided to try to recross, maybe on a different location that would be less likely to be microcaster and crossable. We tried different locations but we were able to get through. Due to contrast and radiation concerns, we decided to stop the procedure at this point. 
We had, however, flow coming from the vein graft, so we placed the stand in the proximal part of the vein graft. We did not stand the distal part, so we have the option of going retrograde again. And then uh, the plan was to bring the patient back and uh, potentially try again to recanalize the LED CTO. So multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that uh, even occluded bypass grafts can be used as conduits for the retrograde approach. This patient had an occluded vein graft with LAD. Granted, it's unusual to have vein grafts in the LAD, but nevertheless, we were able to cross it easily with a polymer jacketed guide wire and use it for retrograde crossing. Second lesson was about the treatment of microcatheter and crossable CTOs. We had extreme difficulty, likely because of the significant calcification and tortuosity in the middle LAD. We tried different things, small balloons, microcatheters, extra support with guide extensions. We tried extra plug techniques, trying to cross it, but unfortunately, we were unable to cross with the microcatheter retrogradely the CTO. And third lesson is about the final outcome. After we uh, tried for quite some time and uh, we were unable to cross uh, with a microcaster retrograde, we still decided to uh, stand the vein graft in the proximal segment to have some undergrade flow into the LAD. At the same time, we did not stand distally, so we still have the option of um, going retrograde in the future to recanalize the native LAD CTO. Thank you.